Snow Day's Thin Fuse Adhesive is a thin, heat-activated adhesive film that allows you to build intricate fused glass designs in a comfortable workspace and then easily transport your piece to the kiln, ensuring your design stays put. Thin Fuse essentially creates a faux-tack fuse, allowing you to eliminate extra firings and cut back on the amount of time it takes to finish a multi-step fuse glass project. Once the adhesive has been heat set, you can continue to add elements to the piece before firing in a kiln. Thin Fuse is a perfect solution for creating easy fuse glass mosaics. Begin by placing a clean base layer of fusible glass on top of a portion of Thin Fuse adhesive and release liner. There's a slight texture on the side of the roll with the adhesive. Use a razor or scissors to cut the adhesive around the edges of the glass and return the adhesive roll to the package. Turn the glass, adhesive, and release paper over. Burnish the edges and across the center of the release paper with the back of your fingernail, a fid, or a pen. Rubbing on the release paper against the glass will help the adhesive to stick and not tear when peeling back the release paper. Beginning with a corner or the edge, peel back the separator paper, leaving the adhesive sheet attached to the glass. Avoid pulling up on the paper as the adhesive can tear. Instead, peel back across the glass. Place your cut glass design elements on top of the adhesive covered base layer. To achieve a faux tack fuse, heat set the thin fuse adhesive with a heat gun, oven, or kiln. The adhesive activates at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're heating with a heat gun, make sure to heat the whole project slowly and evenly to avoid thermal shocking the glass. Alternatively, you can heat set the adhesive by placing the project in a toaster oven or conventional oven set to 200 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. After removing the project from the heat, you'll be able to nudge the pieces into place if they've moved or are not exactly where you want them. If the piece is set up before you're finished moving them around, simply reheat and move the pieces back into place. Let the project cool and you can add additional elements before firing in the kiln. For this fuse glass mosaic piece, I'm adding Carolina Extra Fine Frit for grout lines. Spoon some frit onto the fuse glass mosaic and begin to spread it into the grout lines. Use a brush to sweep the frit into place and clear off excess frit. While grouting, you can add No Day's liquid fusing adhesive to help hold the frit in place, especially along the edges of the piece. When you've finished grouting and sweeping off excess frit, you're ready to transport your piece to the kiln to fire. Keeping in mind that all kilns fire differently and that both the type and placement of glass in the kiln will affect the firing schedule that you use, here are some sample firing schedules to get you started. It's a good idea to keep a journal of your firing schedules for reference so you can change them as needed. Before firing your pieces, you'll want to make sure that your kiln is slightly vented so that any vapors from kiln paper or the adhesive can escape the kiln. Venting your kiln can be as simple as placing a couple layers of fiber paper between the lid and your kiln.